Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to do another example related to data binding. So the first thing is we will create our lightning web component. So we'll say control shift P, create the lightning web component here. And the name of the component, we'll call it as hello world. And then this is the default directory, hit enter. And it'll create a lightning component under this LWC, which is here, hello world.html. So first thing is, let's go ahead and divide the screen into two. So we'll go ahead and uh, divide it into two. So this is the JS file, and then here is the HTML. So under this template, we are going to use the lightning card here, just to make it more neat and clean. And uh, the title of my card, we'll call it as hello world. And inside of this lightning card, I'm going to create a div tag and uh, the class that I'm going to use would be, so this is from the aura framework. So I'm hoping you're already familiar. This code, you can get it from any component library of the aura components. And under this div tag, I'm going to use a paragraph tag and I'll say hello. And then this is the property greeting. Okay, so there's a property. So this is going to be a dynamic one. And here I'm creating an input box, lightning input box. And the label for would be call it as name. And the value is going to be greeting. And I'm adding a on change handler here. So whenever you type in something or whenever the value of this text box changes, it's going to call this code change handler. And now I'm going to define this change handler inside of my JavaScript file. So what I've created so far is I have a simple paragraph tag and I'm displaying the value of the greeting. So there's a property that I have created called greeting. I have not defined it anywhere. And then I've created an input box and the label for the box is name. The value would be greeting. And on change, whenever the value, whenever you make a change in this input box, there is a on change handler that I've added called change handler. So let's go ahead and update our JS file. So inside of my JS file, I'm going to import a thing called track. Now this is a property decorators. So track basically makes it a reactive. Okay, so if, if the property values changes, it's going to, this makes it as a reactive property. So now let's go ahead and uh, define our greeting. So I'll say, I'm going to use this decorator called track and using the decorator track with the property makes it makes that property a reactive property. So whenever the value of that property changes, so it'll re-render that. And now I'm going to define my change handler here and uh, event. And then here, this dot of greeting is equals to event dot target dot value. So what's happened here is what's happening is let me explain. So I have created I'm I'm using this track I'm importing this track decorator. What this track decorator does is whenever you use a track decorator with a property, it makes that property reactive. Reactive means any time that value of the property changes, it the, it will re-render the component. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, update our meta file. And in the meta file, I'm going to say is exposed would be set to true. And then I'm going to add the targets. So the first target would be the lightning app page. The second target is lightning home page and the third target is lightning record page so i've set up the targets i've set up the is exposed to true hello world.js the property that i have created here i'm defined in the js file and i've made the property as trackable and then I have defined my change handler. So whenever you change anything in the input box, the change handler will be 
called so whenever so there is an input box here by default the value of the greeting is world now what happens is if you change the change something in this input box this particular handler will be called now in the handler what we'll do is even dot target dot value whatever you have typed in will be stored in this this dot greeting so what will happen is anytime the value changes will get stored in this dot greeting that is from html to the js now you need to go ahead and reflect the change back in the h back in this particular place which is the here hello greeting so for that way we have created we have marked this property as trackable so whenever this changes what happen is this particular greeting will get re-rendered on the page and here it will display you hello world and then next time it will say hello Deepika or whatever. So now let's go ahead and see add this component to the home page and see what this component does. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the save and I will push my changes. Let me see there's an error here. I have not close this input tag. Now let's go ahead and push the changes. Okay, it says the push source to default org is failed to run. It says on change is not a valid attribute for lightning input. Okay, so the thing is, it's not capital, it's small. Control shift P, push the changes. Okay, so this, it's successful. And now we're gonna go ahead and open our default org here, go back here. And now we'll edit the page and we'll add the component to this page. So you can see here the custom component that is hello world is now appeared on the under the custom here. And now we'll go ahead and add this page, let's say at the bottom of this assistant and then hit the save button. And let's go back. Now you'll see here first time the greeting value appears is hello world. Now if you change this text, what happens is the Pika will get reflected here. So automatically the component got re-rendered because you have marked the component and marked the property as trackable. So it's a reactive property. So anytime the value of the property changes, it will reflect on this component. So now if I say my tutorial rack. So the on change handler does it from HTML to the JavaScript. Now we need to go ahead and push it back to the HTML. So that's why we are using the property as trackable. So let me go back and explain to you. So what happens is anytime in the input box chain value of the input box changes, the change handler will be called and this is the definition of the change handler. Now in the change handler, you will have the value what has been provided in the input box. So we are setting the value back into the greeting. Now this greeting value will reflect on the page because we have marked the, the property as a trackable property. So that's why it will go ahead and reflect back here on this particular place here in the paragraph tag. So this is called as data binding.